Yes, what's up everyone and welcome back to How to Build a Crosscard Part 4. In this episode, I'll mount the engine and get it running. Now if you're interested in this build and want to make a crosscard just like this yourself, you can now find all my self-made plans for this project on my website. And as you might already know, I designed this thing to be as easy as possible to build, so anyone with some basic metalworking knowledge and a tube bender can build this thing. The plans take you through the building process step by step, just like a LEGO build guide. There are over 160 pages containing assembly guides, boot jigs, dimensions of every single tube in the build and paper templates to cut the notches and sheet metal parts. Additionally, you can also find digital cutting files for all sheet metal parts. And if you're interested, you can click the link in the video description which will guide you to my website where you can find more information about the plans. But for now, without further ado, let's get this bike, throw out the engine and place it in the frame. Honda CBR 1000 4 cylinder engine, 4 inline, dual overhead cam with 16 valves, red line of 12,000 rpm, should make around 145 horsepower ish, which will be plenty. And I've driven it, and it's by far the fastest thing I've ever ridden. So, next step take it apart, take out the engine, place the engine in the frame. Let's do it. So that's the engine in place, unfortunately I had to cut a little bit out of this tube as you can see because the engine was just a little bit higher as I was expecting and that's because I engineered this thing using a 600cc engine and this is a 1000cc so it's a bit higher but doesn't really matter, I'll just make the tube to go over here like this. So next thing to do is mount it and I'll make a tab from here to here. And on the bottom here too, and 
on the front. I'll make a tube which will bolt on here and go like this to the other side and then connect to these points. And it's bolted because it needs to come out again to get the engine out because the engine has to come out this way.
So that's the engine and seat in. And next up, what I wanna focus on is getting the engine running. So that means hooking up the cooling system first. So this is the radiator from the bike and it will go roughly around here. Something like this. I'll just make two taps from here to here and also something on the bottom. And then this is the thermostat housing and filler cap. And this needs to be obviously the highest point of the cooling system. So this will go somewhere around here and then some hoses to here and back to the engine. And then also the oil cooler, which is this one, which connects to the engine somewhere around there. So this is all steel piping. So what I can do is just cut it to pieces where I need it and extend it or shorten it. And then place my oil cooler somewhere, maybe here or maybe up here, we'll see. So with all that done, cooling done, oil cooler in and the wiring down, I'll just hook up the fuel and then see if I can start it. Let's do it.
so that's it for this video. Got the engine running, runs great. First it was only running on the middle two cylinders, but then the other two kicked in as well. And it runs very good. So next thing to do for me is clean up all this wiring, cut out what I don't need and stretch the wires to the front. And then clean up all these wires as well, make a proper grounding, connect the chain and stuff. And then in the next episode we'll make the controls for the shifter and the clutch and the throttle and the choke and of course the brake pedal and we'll also mount front brakes and rear brake and basically finish it and then we'll take it for a test drive so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video